I've been working on the detailing of a tidal or river-based curtain system. You can see here I've got um, these sails which will be going away from us on that far side as they're catching the as their their back edge. They're asymmetric so that they're attached on to this rope on the top. Let's click in there. Oh, I need just the one. Um, yeah, they clicked onto this rope here. Um, take how accurate it my uh, drawings are. Um, so you've got a sail where you've got, say, carbon run through it, and um, yeah, fairly standard single sheet design at the moment. Um, so it's scooped like that. There's your rear, your front, and it's clamping on onto this rope so that when the tide is going from us through the, the sail there, it pushes it that way, uh, pulls the pulls the rope with it through these pulleys and the whole band are, um, the whole band set are being pulled by the water along this way. Round the big wheel at the end now. Um yeah, so I've got these guide sets here, the small the small wheels. They would need mounted of course and <coughs> excuse me, depending on the, the flow direction, you would want these mounted from above. You'd need some sort of gantry to support these ones and these ones because the when the tide direction flips, um the the sails are gonna have to wrap around some of the supports. As you can see I've got done here, this sail is giving way as it's going round this this pole and then forming again on the other side. Now, I've not shown much in the way of vertical supports for these um, for, you know, vertical pulley wheels um, and you might want to run these the whole system up onto say the bank um, or onto a barge if it's, if it's all mounted offshore so that you can inspect the sails, replace them, stop the whole system at slack water, uh, run it round and see how things are going. You'd also want a clipping mechanism so that you could take each kite, uh, each sail on and off as as it went by. Uh, should you so desire. I think you would. Um, as you see the the supports, the extra guides, the guide wheels are, because it's going to influence the the rope quite a bit. Unless it's really, un, you know, it's going to be under tension anyway. But uh, and this the scales here are a bit exaggerated for the sort of tension you'd want to work under. It would be a lot tighter, I think. But uh, I think the rope would be quite a bit bigger as well, the top and bottom the pulled rope. Like I say, you'd want the support in, up and down there, and back up on shore this side. And vertical wheels, keep it on, keep everything guided. Uh, ropes coming up to the top, and possibly more tension vertically altogether in the sail. I th think maybe this is a bit too bowed as a sail. I don't know. Yeah. You know I don't know. Uh, I'd like some comments. Let me know what you think. Thanks.